Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the value of numbers in exponential form. So this time, we will talk about how to expand numbers and how to evaluate the value of this exponential form. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So we have here an expression in exponential form, which is 4 to the power of 3, or pwede rin siyang basahin bilang 4 raised to 3. So let's have the different parts of an exponential expression. You have here, this number 4 is your base. And this is smaller number 3 at the upper right corner of your base, which is 3. This one is your exponent. And reveal lang natin that the purpose of this exponent is it will indicate how many times natin i-multiply yung base sa sarili niya. So if we expand 4 to the power of 3, it will become 4 times 4 times 4. And multiplying 4 times 4 times 4, ito na ngayon yung magiging value ng 4 to the power of 3 or 4 raised to 3 which is equal to 64. So, in the next part of our video, I will give you more examples for you to know how to evaluate or how to find the numbers or to how to find the value of numbers in exponential form. Now, we have here a given examples where in Merontine table in which yung first column natin is for the exponential notation or exponential form and then yung second column natin which is kailangan natin sagutan which is your stand expanded form and then last one is your value or the value of the exponential notation. So for number one, we are given here the quantity of negative 10 squared. So as you can see, the, your base is negative 10 and your exponent is 2. Meaning, we will be multiplying negative 10 twice. So negative 10 times negative 10. And multiplying negative 10 by the rule of integers, if you have two integers with same sign, automatic, your product is positive. So you have positive. And 10 times 10, it will give you 100. So simply, the answer in number 1 is simply, num is simply equal to 100. Again, negative 10 raised to 2 is equal to 100. Now let's move on with item number 2. The given exponential notation here is 7 raised to the 5th power. Your base is 7 and the exponent is 5. Meaning, we need to multiply 7 5 times to itself. So this will become your... Ito yung yung magiging expanded form. You have 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. So we have 4 times and last one times 7. And multiplying 7 5 times to itself, it will give you 16,807. Okay, I hope na sa first two examples natin, you already know the concept and how to evaluate a given expression in exponential notation. So you can pause the video and you can try and answer item number 3, which is 3 raised to the 5th power. Okay, you can try it. Pause the video first. Now, let's move on with item number 3. It goes like this. You have 3 to the 5th power. Your base is 3 and you need to multiply 3 5 times to itself. Why? Because your exponent is 5. So this will become 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 and the value of this expanded form is simply 243 that's it for item number 3 and let's move on with item number 4 for item number 4 we have the quantity of negative 2 raised to the fifth power so your base is, neg is negative 2 and you need to multiply it 5 times so you have negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So this one is quite complicated because we have 
um, 5, negative 2. So, first natin gagawin dito is to multiply this. If you have negative 2 times negative 2, it will give you positive 4. And ito naman, you negative 2 times negative 2, it will also give you positive 4. And you still have 1 negative 2 to multiply. Now, yung 4 times 4 natin is equivalent to 16. Still, you have negative 2. So what will happen here is that if you have 16 and then multiply it by negative 2, it will give you negative 32. That's the answer for item number 4. We have negative 32. So I hope na nakuha niyo yung process natin on how to multiply negative 2 5 times to itself. And lastly, for item number 5, let's move on with item number 5. That is 5, sorry, 2 raised to the 5th power. So simply lang naman to, you have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So bakit po lima? Because yung exponent ng base mo is 5. So kailangan mo siya i-multiply 5 times. And multiplying 2 5 times to itself, it will give you positive 32 or 32. So I hope na sa first 5 examples natin, o sa lima examples na meron tayo, you already know how to evaluate or find the value of exponential notation and how to expand them. How to expand them. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating mga latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye! Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para update ito sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!